a pleasure for me to stay here, staying here. Um, I only have two months speaking English, so uh, be patient. Um, well, I go to start. Uh, first, I go to present myself. My name is Francisco Ayr. Um, I work in a lot of things with energy. Uh, I made some courses and therapies and well, retreats. I'm I'm from Argentina. I'm now here in England uh, because the path um, some a planet a planet works. Uh, well, I'm here, and it's a pleasure for me to stay in that beautiful festival. Um, I'm very uh, excited to share with you about this thing. Uh, I call that like pillar of consciousness is an information uh, we need to that new age we are arriving, you know. Um, so I go to start with that. These pillars represent uh, a, a starting point um, to that new beginning, you know. Uh, it's, it's like rebirth um, in, in that new consciousness. Obviously, I all the time speaking uh, with energy, you know, is is that things we have to um, feel with love, embrace with love, to connect deeply and and go on in that reality we we want to create. So um, there is nine in the beginning. I surprised today because I received two more. Uh, I was in taking a bathroom, a bath, sorry, and I received two more. So I came here and I hope the time uh, was enough to, to, to share. So I go to start with, with the pillars of the consciousness. The first one, um, all of them, sorry, before start, all of them is connected between them, you know? Uh, so maybe, well, that was recorded, I think. So, but you can write, maybe it's, it's uh, nice information to connect after that. And some questions, uh, maybe in a meditation moment, reveal something important in your life. So I share to all of you with a lot of love, um, hope that um, help someone or not, but for me, it's enough to stay here to sharing that information. Um, yes, okay, let's start. The first one is be loyal to yourself. Coherence and action. What you feel, you, you act. The thing is, some star seeds came here or start to feel a lot of things and all of that information only stay here in the mind and some others block because the system um, don't want it. So be loyal to yourself is an expression to do what you really have to do here to be free and happy. And obviously all of that is in the next pillars. And the question, here is if you are doing what you really want to do. And this is, uh, you have to be honest with, with that because your, your soul is listening to you and know the truth, the real truth, you know? So this is the first thing is obviously uh, not so easy thing to deal because we have a lot of information to do different things in, in our lives. And all of them uh, is going or taking uh, out to your real path. But the second pillar of consciousness connect with the, this thing is opening to the new sensitivity of all. And to do that, we need, we need to be humble. Um, we need the empathy 
um, to recognize parts of yourself uh, in all living things, you know, in, in animals, in the trees, in the wind, uh, in the mountains, um, and not only feel feeling your feels, you know, uh, what you feel, feeling everything. Open the new sensitivity is about not only feel that things like tact or vision if is is more about open yourself to feel really feel deeply all of that information we ignore all the time uh, because there there is a lot of information we ignore all the time um, I remember an experience um, in Argentina near to Erx I don't know if if you know uh, that that place about that place but it's popular um, in in a moment we go to climb some rocks and in a path uh, the name of the path is El Camino del Indio in Spanish um, and in, in, in a moment the wind uh, talked to me and say you have to go now you have to go back. And I didn't doubt about that information. So I say to the people, we need to go back. And we go back. And when I uh, put my feet in the last rock, start to rain a uh, very aggressive, aggressive way. And that information we forget. And the native people, the the ancient information we have inside us is in our dna remember all of that but we need to connect with that information because we put a lot of things over that and we ignore that information and it's really necessary now wake up with this for the new age because the planet is going up in, in the consciousness level. So we need to go with the planet. If not, something uh, happened to us, you know? So the, the number three pillar uh, is recognizing your real self. And that again is connect with your inner wisdom, is start to see deeply to yourself obviously connected with your coherence and that reveals information you need to know to recognize yourself and obviously if you are open you can feel more you can you can be open with all of that information and if you resonate with that you can start to create some something new your new version so um feeling deeply that loving awareness uh, that you are um, and the contemplation and the quietness is required to do that because with all of that noise we have all the time um, we can recognize anything uh, we need we have a lot of noise so we need that quietness to listen really what we want, you know? And that, that question came, if you can feel what you really are. And with the other two pillars, the two questions, the two questions came in, uh, are you doing what you really want? It's about the first. And the second one is if you really feel the connection with all things. So uh, I think all of that is revealed to you, a lot of information, maybe you need to the, that present, that beautiful present. So the number four is about the, the identification, is about releasing all of that information we have and we don't need. Um, this information to anchor to the matrix, to the matrix, and obviously to connect with that, we need the, the in emptiness 
the silence we need sometimes is that moment very dark in your life to realize nothing of this uh, is filling me, is, is nutrition for me. So in that moment, I decided to change everything, change all of that um, I don't need, you know, and start to, rec to reconnect with all of that I, I, I go to discover. But to feel that, I need to remove all of that, how can I say, um, names I put over me. I'm not, I'm not men, I'm not, um, I'm not tall, I'm not blonde, I'm not, I'm not all of that. I'm not professional, I'm not, um, you know, all of that information we need to remove to find the real truth about, about us. And the question came, uh, who came with that uh, pillar is how we live, you know, is what we want, what we really want in the life, um, what is really important in our life. If we live uh, speaking about separation of, or unity, um, if I act, about unity or separation because that is the real you know is is what you act uh, what you are doing in your life and this connecting with the number five that uh, pillar about the surrender because i can't um i can't feel that the identification if i not surrender i need to that surrender to feel the death of the ego is obviously is it's not the death but um it's like the real you um no no longer beholding the the ego but um it's like more a, par a partnership you know it's it's like the ego is telling me something i need to know but it's only information. And the, the, the question who came with that is, if you can really hear your ego like, as a master and, and your fears, for example, and if you can see the information behind what you, what you are feeling, because sometimes we react um, with that things because the ego responds instantly and, and we need to check that information to check to check your heart what you feel what you really are feeling with all of that at that sometimes take time and this time we need quietness we need a meditation moment and I, I don't mention the meditation like uh, obviously the position and no, uh, it's not important things uh, being like Buddha, uh, that image perfect uh, with the position and all of that. No, no, it's about the connection and the focus with your thing, what you really want to feel or, or, or contemplate is the word. So, This is about the, that surrender. It's about um, allow yourself being that healthy warrior because we have an ancient um, pain. It's about that warrior uh, wanting all the time wars because the separation and I defend that position and again, wars and conflicts and all of that. But if you surrender to all of that battles, there is no war. There is inside you, is, is no more war. So you can start to, to feel the both parts and you can, you can see both are, are true. Both have reasons, both show something, but obviously it's a part, it's if, if the duality, and to see that you you don't you can't see that if you don't surrender because you are in the 
white team or in the dark team, uh, feeling good or bad, and all it all the time in that game. And if you are in a team in one of them, obviously you are not watching the whole movie, uh, even not being part of 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 one of them being part of both or no one you you can see a part of the story because of that we need that uh humility uh because the the big mind the big consciousness is is very powerful and our mind can see a part of this so we need to connect with that uh and the surrender, obviously. And the number six is about the courage and faith. It's about um, it's about jump and and fly, because if we don't jump with all of that information, I I was speaking. Uh, if you if we don't trust in 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 all of that, I feel. I want to act and maybe fear appear and I need to jump. I, I don't care. I don't care if I am terrified because that thing is uh, making a stop in my life. I need to jump. So um, we need to do that. We need all of that pillars and mentioned before and after but we need to trust um, even if you don't see because we all the time see say sorry uh, if i can see i believe on that you know uh, in, in spanish we have uh, this this phrase is uh, lo veo y lo creo but it's not that way is i believe i create is Lo veo y lo creo, perdón, lo creo y lo puedo manifestar. So, um, that, that is important because that requires the connection, but the courage, because you need to jump and that jump shows to you the magic to turn everything in gold, because for you, that movement is freedom, that movement, that action, is uh, coherence, uh, is uh, recognizing yourself, is all of that together. So I call that magic, that moment to connect with, with your warrior, but the, the healthy warrior, the sacred warrior to go and jump because defend yourself, defend your dream defend your soul, you know? And that question came in that pillar, if, if, if you really are doing uh, the things you really want, if you take risks in your life or not. And that connect uh, with this, the number seven, um, I hope the time uh, is is okay. Um, the number seven is embrace the darkness. In, embrace the darkness. Sorry. And that is an interesting point because obviously we are talking about surrender. We are talking about that the identification. We are talking about recognize yourself both parts, good and bad. Um, the the darkness and light because we are both so if i don't embrace the darkness it's a one part one piece of me i'm not embracing so that is not love because love is the unity of the things so embrace the darkness is don't react or reject it is is don't deny it so the question came um is if you deny your darkness or not. And obviously the, the, the typical answer is no, I don't want the darkness. And the thing is, you don't have to be the darkness. You have to feel it and embrace it. 
you have to stay, you have to allow that uh, that feelings or that energy on you, but you know what you want. It's not uh, a definition for you, it's only information for you, you know? It's difficult to explain in Spanish, uh, <laughs> in English, I uh, think it's, it's worse, but I'm trying so hard. So, um, the number eight is the gratitude. Um, but other people say about the gratitude, but it's not the same if I say, for example, someone prepared the food and I say, thank you and start to eat and I don't care and blah, 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 and speak with about politics or it's about feeling, vibrate the gratitude and with all of things, you know, it's, it's like um, a way, um, I tried to find the words, but yes, it's a way of life, is connect with that vibration, is like uh, vibrate the, the essence of acceptance and respect to other person or to yourself, because sometimes we forget to say thank you to myself because this path is really, um, really hard. Like Starseed uh, staying here, trying to remember and deceptions and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and we need to feel that gratitude to us and to others. And that, uh, connect with the um, number nine of the pillars um, is the freedom. And obviously that is another word very used, but you can feel the real freedom if you feel the other pillars. If you are doing what you really want, you are free. If you feel that gratitude, if you feel your darkness, if it's not uh, like a prison for you, even the ego, even the, that the identification, uh, even that recognize to yourself, because when you connect with all of that information, it's obviously you are feeling that freedom. And that thing is like, uh, is embrace your multidimensionality, is feel without limits what you are, what you really are. And the abundance, the success, the magic of the universe is happening inside you and you can manifest that in your, in your real life. So the freedom allows you to manifest all of, all of that uh, you are. And you are something unbelievable, all of you. Um, and that amazing energy have to be anchored in that planet. Because of that, we are here. So um, in the beginning, that nine um, pillars was like the information I received for that um, beautiful event. But today, received two more. And the number 10 is the possibilities are one. Uh, that is very interesting because we can see a lot of possibilities or possible possible futures or your mind creating a lot of ways um, like the Google map, for example, and with different um, ways to connect to one point, you know? But if that possibilities really are one, if we accept that, if we can really see that, we can see that coherence I speak in the beginning because you can ask to yourself what is telling your heart. And that is the possibilities being one because your heart, your, your, your human, uh, your deeply being, is telling you something, and this is one thing, this is one path, 
this is not a group of possibilities that is our mind and all the time we spend a lot of time creating more possibilities we, because we think more possibilities is more i am very clever i am very smart because i can see blah 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 blah, blah. no you are smart if you can see all of that but you create a path your real path you know and that is the path of freedom obviously in the, in the beginning i mentioned that all of that pillars are connected between them so um all of that possibilities disappear being only one and the number 11 of that pillars beautiful pillars i receive i i'm sharing with all of you is about the new age the age of we are living now um it's about the feel the unity we really need in in that new moment we really need to feel the unity because now um now we need that because there is a lot of people changing and feeling alone, feeling uh, like, okay, I changed all of that because I feel it, but I feel alone because my old friends, uh, I can feel like I'm, I'm not okay. I'm, uh, or they, for example, say me something uh, or not accepting, uh, for example, I don't know, I don't put the things uh, required to travel. I don't want to mention it um all of that kind of things happening now and we need to feel that family of light we are uh maybe it's not the blood family maybe it's people who connect in your path um but we need that that feeling uh, that feeling of i'm not alone um and the question who came with that is uh, if you feel alone with all of that, with all of that awakening of consciousness. And I think all of that, 11 questions, 11 uh, pillars, there is a lot of information on yourself to listen, to stay in that quiet, in that silence, to uh, kind of hear the really answer you, you need to hear. Uh, obviously, we are going to that age, new age of we, um, but to be that group of people, uh, that group of starseed, um, growing up, uh, grounding, and all of that, we need to hold all of that information on, on us and um, growing up individually to be that collective consciousness, you know and that is the new information because i i mentioned it, the new pillars of consciousness because all of that experiences we lived like human beings until now prepare us to receive all of that information before it's not it's like the wind uh, passing i we don't hear it but now is the moment now is the moment to take this embrace it and and believe in all of that and believe in yourself and practicing what you need to practice to hold on of that information um maybe meditation maybe maybe painting maybe yoga maybe i don't care what but each one have need to connect with the magic i call magic uh all of that because we have magic, all of you have magic. And that planet that your brother, sister there um, needs uh, your magic, needs my magic to create the new reality, you know? And the new doesn't mean the old does is, is, is not good. No, the old is information. We need that information because that is information we need to create a new one. And the new one maybe have a lot of the old, but something new. And we came here, we have that new uh, 
that um, capacity now, maybe years ago, uh, was not um, not okay. But now we are ready to to create all of that. So I uh, I don't I don't know if I have more time. I check. Well, for me, it was a pleasure to stay here um, in that cooperating in that process of evolution, even if it's not my language. So uh, please, sorry. Um, yes, no time for question. OK. Perfect. Well. Okay, we are ready. So, I, I'm I'm listening the the team. Okay, if you want to connect with uh, my information or what I I said or share to the world, you can go to uh, Francisco M R uh, com. And this is my web page. And my Instagram is Francisco MR2. So it's a pleasure for me to uh, share all of that. And obviously, um, feeling that unity with all of you is, is nice, is warm, is what we need as human beings. So uh, we are ready. We are ready to go, I think. Bye bye to all. Thank you very much.